Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a Ruby on Rails server on Ubuntu hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Amazon and from here you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed Rails, Ruby, Node.js and SQLite 3. So simply click on continue to subscribe. And then from this product page, you want to accept the terms and then wait for the validation process to complete. Now once the subscription validation is complete, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you want to select the AMI, the software version and the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. And when satisfied, simply click on continue to launch. And then you have two options to launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So I am going to switch to EC2 management console and then click on launch. And that would open up the EC2 management console in a new tab. Now in this tab, we can customize our virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call mine as ROR, which stands for Ruby on Rails Server. And then make sure that the image over here is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that, scroll down and choose the instance type according to your requirements. And then choose a key pair by either creating a new key pair or by choosing an already existing one. By the way, this is the key pair that you would be using to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. After that, simply scroll down and leave the network settings as default. And when you're satisfied, simply click on launch instance. And then it would deploy an instance of this virtual machine. Now, simply click on view all instances to go to EC2 management console. And from here, the instance in the pending state is a newly created virtual machine. Now simply wait for this virtual machine to change its state from pending to running. Once inside the running state, we can move on to the next step. And the next step is to connect to the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So simply right click on your virtual machine and then click on connect. And then under the SSH client tab, simply copy this command and paste it inside the command prompt. And then replace this path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the path, simply hit enter and when you are prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. Now you need to wait for this command prompt to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. Once inside the SSH terminal, you can verify the installation of Ruby, Rails and SQLite 3. So type in Ruby space hyphen V and then hit enter to get the version of Ruby. And then to verify the installation of Rails, simply type in Rails space hyphen V and then hit enter. And lastly to verify the installation of SQLite 3, simply type in SQLite 3 space double hyphen version. So that is going to print out the version for SQLite 3. Now that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing on Amazon Web Services and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up Ruby on Rails server on Ubuntu hosted on Amazon Web Services. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.